is over four months now after a two weeks warning strike by the academic staff union of universities, ASU. The union, not the federal government, appears to be relenting to resolve the pending situation. Although one may think that occasional strike action is peculiar to this part of the world, it is not. In fact, Industrial actions like strikes are inevitable in the public and private sectors globally and are fairly common in Europe, where countries like Cyprus and France had a total of 685 strikes between 2009 and 2013. America is not left out either. In 2018, teachers in West Virginia and USA went on a nine-day strike to protest stagnant wages as teachers in Chicago who went on an 11-day strike in 2019 to protest the same thing. In this same period, lecturers, librarians, and administrative staff members were, went on a strike against the attack on pensions by universities in UK. But in the case of Nigeria, the process of negotiating warning strikes and the eventual strike is a bit more complex as they often end in a deadlock. This is concerning for a number of reasons, the primary of which is effect on possibly the most fundamental sector of the Nigeria economy along with a reputation for teaching with an outdated curriculum and poor infrastructure, Nigeria's educational sector is notorious for its citizen strike. It appears that there is no other year that talk of strike or its threat does not come up in Nigeria's educational sector. It's so bad that undergraduate students mentally add a year or two to their expected graduation dates because of inevitable strike that they know will extend their time in school. To worsen the issue, just yesterday, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, extended the ongoing strike by three months after the initial warning strike expired on Sunday, May 8. This action has, however, caused outrage in the hearts of students. What's more intriguing is that, in the midst of this charade, the federal government fails to recognize that it is the students who bear the brunt of the loss. Speaking on the situation, the national president of the National Parents Teachers Association of Nigeria, Naftan Alhaji Aruna Danjuma, expressed disgust at this continued closure of the universities. He said, I quote, We cannot continue to waste the time of our children. They are staying much longer at home than in school now. It is unfortunate that we are yet to get over the issue of the closure of our higher institution incessantly. This is a minus for the system. How do we expect foreigners to respect our certificates?" Unquote. Reacting to the recent extension of strike, the national president of the National Association of Nigerian Students, Nance Komri Sunde Asefon, expressed his discomfort, saying, Nigerian students have wasted more than enough time at home doing nothing. With this current situation, students have wasted time that is enough for them to finish a semester. We are tired of things like this." Unquote. In this whole circle of strike, actions, it will interest you to know that as much as the lecturers are fighting for their supposed rights, the students are also suffering from this decision. It also intrigues you that among all this suffering, it is the Nigeria economy that is suffering the most. As we reflect on the present and future impact of the strikes, it will be paramount that we stop the blame game and take responsibility for redeeming the country's education sector. The government, ASU, and parents have a role to play in safeguarding the future of education in Nigeria. Neither the union nor the government can reform the crumbling education system alone. Stakeholders need to see the need for collaborative efforts. Until that happens, we all bear the losses of the ASU strikes.